So I saw Red Velvet in concert last week, front row, and it was amazing. Darcy. Now, the whole journey there was not so amazing. When tickets went on sale, I could not believe that they were actually coming here. Not a lot of K-pop acts come to Canada, so I was like, oh my god. And I was finally in a position to be able to afford tickets, so I was like, honey, I am going. So the tickets were sold on Ticketmaster the day of. I sat there at 2 p.m. when they came out, exactly at 2 p.m. so that I could get tickets for this concert. Keep in mind, I had a dentist appointment at 2.30, but I was like, this gonna be, this gonna be real quick. I'm just gonna clickety click, 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 get my tickets and I'm, I'm gonna go get my teeth checked. I bought on Ticketmaster before and, and even recently I had bought tickets to go see Amber on Ticketmaster and it was super super quick I was just click 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 and that's it so I kind of expected the same thing you know but um it was it was not the same thing it was absolute chaos it was a goddamn bloodbath so Ticketmaster was doing that thing where it kept saying another fan just got your tickets click here to get another one and it would just do that over and over and over and over and over again and I would get error messages and I was like Ticketmaster why are you playing with me right now this is super important so eventually Ticketmaster decided that I was a bot <laughs> and they just blocked my IP address and I was like you are rude you're so rude you are the rudest person I've ever freaking see it you're so rude so Ticketmaster done played me they played me okay so what I had to do was I had to go on to the Facebook group for the concert I was in I was in literally three Facebook groups for the concert okay <laughs> so I went on the Facebook group for the concert and people were selling their tickets so I literally bought the first ticket I saw um, it was for section 111 which is like the upper level she had an extra ticket that she got on Ticketmaster so she was selling it at face value which which means she was selling it at the actual price of the ticket. She wasn't upping the price of the ticket to make more money. Yes, scalpers. I see you. You're wrong. You just are. Anyways, so I got this ticket off of another fan and I knew it was 100% totally legit ticket because she got it off Ticketmaster and then when I paid her the money for the ticket, she transferred it from her Ticketmaster account to my Ticketmaster account. So it's on my Ticketmaster account. It has my name on it and everything. Um, I love that Ticketmaster has that ability. Even though, <laughs> Ticketmaster, you played me and I hate you now, we ain't friends no more. I had tickets for the concert. I was going to this concert no matter what, okay? Listen, I just wanted to go. I didn't have to be on the floor, even though I would really, really want to be on the floor. But if I couldn't, I just wanted to see my girls, okay? So at this point, I've completely missed my dentist appointments and uh, they never called me to see why I missed the appointment. They just, they didn't. They didn't care about me. I blow off my dentist appointment and I'm still searching the internet for floor seats because I really wanted to sit front row. And I knew I could afford the tickets, so I was looking around on the Facebook group, nobody was selling floor tickets, period. And I didn't want to be on the floor unless I was in like row one, two, or three because I'm super short and it's really difficult for me to see in front of people. I'm literally five feet tall. I wear heels to every single concert that I go to because y'all are too tall for me and I hate it. My mission was to get a front row seat to this concert. So what I eventually had to do was go onto third party seller websites like StubHub. So I went on StubHub. Um, at this point, the tickets are still on sale. Um, it's been like just a few minutes since Ticketmaster has kicked me off and I already secured a ticket. So I'm 100% going to this concert, but I still want to see if I can get that front row seat, all right? So I go onto StubHub and I see that they're selling tickets for literally triple the price of what they're selling on Ticketmaster, okay? Triple, but listen, I can afford it. <laughs> so my goal, I, I wanted to be in the front row, but my goal goal was to be in center floor, okay? Front and center. So I found a ticket on StubHub. There were lots of tickets on StubHub that were in the front row at that point because scalpers, I don't know how they do it. They got the fastest internet or something, I don't know. But there were lots of front row tickets there. So I found one that was center floor, front row, and on StubHub, they don't tell you which seat it is. You only know the section and the row. They don't tell you which seat. I was like, let's do this. We're just, we're just gonna do this. We got the money, let's just do this. I buy the ticket and they send you a PDF. So I open up the PDF and I look at the number 
the seat number and it's seat 20 row 1 center floor seat 20 that is dead center front row center I was in complete shock I was like no this isn't real this isn't there's no way that this is real this isn't real this isn't real. what do you mean <laughs> I'm not sitting front row center at Red Velvet what do you no not me 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 there's been some sort of mistake I'm sorry there's been some sort of mistake excuse me it's, it, excuse me sir there's been some sort of mistake sir excuse me. for the next month I freak out that this is not a real ticket or that it's a duplicate ticket I know what a Ticketmaster ticket looks like and I also had the other ticket to compare so I knew that they that this was a real ticket this was for sure a real ticket but the only thing is is that with their uh, third-party sellers like StubHub it's possible that they're selling tickets at other places on other websites just people in person anywhere they could be selling it anywhere there could be duplicate tickets this happens all the time people will go to the venue and they'll scan a ticket that they got off StubHub or somewhere else and um, it won't go through it'll say the tickets already been scanned it's a scam they sell the same ticket to like 12 13 20 people and all these people are disappointed and they get scammed out of their money the good thing about StubHub is that if that happens to you they'll give you your money back but you still don't get to go to the concert so <laughs> I don't care about my money I don't want my money back I want to see my girls so because your girl was so paranoid what I did was the day of the concert I went super early because if there were duplicate tickets and I still actually don't know if there were but if there were duplicate tickets I would get there first good morning friends someone is panicking <laughs> that someone is me <laughs> okay guys so I'm laying in bed right now it is about 8 in the morning and oh my god oh my god it's 8 in the morning that means in tw in 12 hours oh my god in 12 hours I'm gonna be seeing red velvet things I have to do before I get to the venue I need to go pick up some cash just in case I also need to grab some breakfast I'm planning on getting to the venue very very early I really want to sit in that front row seat um I'm gonna try and get there first I know bitch <clears throat> so we're gonna get there super early gonna try and get there first and have my ticket scan in first so I'm aiming for one or two o'clock and the doors don't open until 6 30 I want to be in line like first in line I want to be like that fucking crazy bitch that's first in line even though you don't need to line up because it's it's not general admission everybody got a seat but bitch I want to sit front row um, so I'm packing really light. There's no coat check there. So I'm gonna try and dress light even though it's like <laughs> Negative four outside <laughs> I'm just like I'm trying not to be a crazy person about this and I'm in my head I'm like Darcy your ticket is probably fine But probably is not good enough for Darcy. Okay, cuz I am a psycho <laughs> Anyways guys, I'm gonna start getting ready BRB <laughs> Alright guys, so this is my outfit for today. I am wearing, wow, can you focus? I am wearing the Red Velvet official t-shirt. And then I'm also wearing these black jeans. I got my black purse and I got my black heel so we were all black today, baby. So that is what the tour t-shirt looks like. I am so excited. Oh my god. Guys, I'm freaking out. Guys, I'm freaking out. All right, so things I'm bringing to the concert, obviously tickets. I have multiple copies of both printed tickets, and I also have the tickets saved on my phone. Um, bringing my 3CE lipstick. Bringing this 3CE lipstick that I'm wearing right now. This is the shade Benchmark. This is legit my favorite color. And I also got two portable chargers. Thanks, YouTube, because I'm going to be vlogging with my phone. Obviously, I can't have a giant DSLR camera at the venue, so I'm going to have to be vlogging the rest of this with my shitty iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, so it's obscenely early. It is still very early. It's 10.30 in the morning and I'm already ready to go. I'm wearing my red velvet tour shorts, okay? 
and I got my hair done, I got my makeup done, I got everything done, everything is good, okay? So things I still need to do, I still need to go to the mall and get some money. I want to have actual cash on me and uh, I still need to grab something to eat. I had a little bit of oatmeal but that's not enough. So I'm just going to grab something to eat while I'm at the mall. And I will see you guys soon. I know Darcy's crazy. She's obscenely early for everything. But listen, I'm paranoid, okay? So if I get there at 4 o'clock and I'm too late and I can't get in with my ticket, I would never forgive myself. So I'm going to be there early as hell. First person, okay? <laughs> Keep in mind, the concert is in Canada, and it's February. It's cold as fuck. Doors open at 7 p.m., and the actual concert starts at 8, and I get there at 1 p.m. Hey, guys, so we made it to the building. It is completely deserted, as expected. So we're going to go hang around a bit. There is a Starbucks near here. There's some food near here, and I'm going to go hang out and then come back later. First one here, cause I'm crazy. <laughs> now when I get there at 1 p.m., nobody is there, obviously, because everyone has a ticket, there's no general admission, everybody has their own seat, so people are gonna probably show up at like seven o'clock and just stroll right in, you know? That's what I usually do for concerts, but this time, because I have a stub up ticket, I am out of my mind paranoid and I still kept the second ticket mind you so I have two tickets just in case this one doesn't work just in case the front row seat one doesn't work I still have the backup ticket so I'm seeing this concert no matter what but I'm really trying to get that front row seat so I'm waiting around the venue um, about 15 minutes after I get there another girl named Angel shows up she's super super early too and then we hang out for a bit we're the only people there and then we get way too cold and we're like listen no one's gonna show up till around four o'clock so let's just go to Union Station which is the station next to where we were and Union Station is indoors so we'd be warm and we can eat and you know just hang out so while we were at Union Station we met up with some other fans who had organized a card signing for the girls so we signed the card and the girls got the cards so actually <laughs> Red Velvet knows I exist now and um, they read my message and actually left my Instagram handle so they're probably stalking me right now <laughs> so after all that we travel back to the venue we get there around 4 o'clock and there's about 30 people just like sitting around, walking around. Eventually we all form a line, a line for what? I don't know, okay? We just there. I don't know why everyone was there so early too. I don't know, girl, okay? Everyone's crazy. Like I said, I have been to concerts before plenty of times, but I have never been to a big K-pop concert before. And this was just so, it was just such a, such a unique experience because uh, we were waiting in line and while we were waiting there, there were people selling merch that they had made themselves and like stickers that they had made themselves and people were performing the dances while we were waiting and it was just like it was just so nice you know like I had never experienced anything like that before at, at any other concert that I've been to like I've been to Beyonce like I said I've been to Ariana Grande I've been to Britney Spears and like I never saw any of those kinds of things like at those kinds of concerts so this was just like really nice anyway so this was all in the freezing cold okay I literally cannot feel my feet nobody could no one could feel their damn feet I didn't have feet they was gone eventually I think after two hours of waiting outside the security guards eventually took pity on us and let us inside an hour early um, and then we stood in line inside for about an hour before they actually started letting us go into the like theater so they made five lines for security checks. So they were gonna like check our bags, check like they had metal detectors, and then they would scan your ticket. So um, there were five separate lines and I was third in my line. So I knew, at this point I knew I'm getting into this concert, but I was still shaking like a leaf, girl. I was I was like, oh my God, oh my God. Also I really need to pee, like I was gonna piss myself, man. I had to literally take deep breaths to calm down. I was like, So they check our bags, they scan us with the metal detectors, and then we go up to the person who scans our ticket, and I have my ticket on my phone, and I'm just shaking. I'm shaking. I, 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 I was like, I was like doing the code, and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god please, I'm like, please work, please work. And when she scanned it, and that green check mark came up, and she was like, she directed me to the floor. 
I stopped breathing for like a good five seconds. I cannot actually believe that I, I was sitting in the front row. I'm sitting in the front row. Me, me, I, I'm, I'm sitting in the front row. So I went straight to the bathroom because there were no lines because like I said I was third in my line ain't nobody in the bathroom so I went straight to the bathroom because girl I needed to pee and also I needed to tell you guys what was going on because I was freaking out I was freaking out oh my god oh my god you guys I'm literally vlogging on the toilet right now I'm freaking out I got in I got in with the floor ticket I'm sitting front row to see red velvet I'm sitting front row to see red velvet I just, how is this real? This isn't real. This things like this don't happen to me. I'm I'm the underdog. I'm unfortunate. What what do you mean? I'm sitting front row at Red Velvet. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What? No, no. Me and my pimple. <laughs> we are the luckiest bitches in the world. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. So after that, I went straight to my seat and I sat down and I looked up and I saw how close I was. And I was like, oh my god, I could not believe it. I sat there for an hour because like I said they opened the doors at 7 and then the concert starts at 8 so I just sat there for an hour just shaking I was still shaking I was just like oh my god oh my god the concert itself was amazing of course I could not believe that I was I was that close to them I could see I could see their faces clearly and they look exactly how they look on TV <laughs> Joy is my bias. Okay, and I got to see Joy up close. Oh my gosh, she's real. Oh, I cannot believe this girl is real. She and she actually looks like that. She actually looks like that. That is not fair. Instagram story was joy focused, so I'm so sorry <laughs> if you was expected to see everybody, but I was just like, yeah. As some of you guys may know, Wendy is from the Toronto area, and it was also two days before her birthday, so we sang happy birthday to her. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy And then like all the girls were just talking about how much they love Wendy and how, much, how they're proud of her and she made like a really heartfelt speech and everyone was crying. I don't know why I'm crying. Said <laughs> <laughs> that there will be our US tour. I couldn't believe it. But then I heard 
there will be Canada tour. And I really, really couldn't believe it. I'm, I still can't believe it right now. <laughs> Joy was talking about how oh, she loves Wendy and how she would always be so sad when it was holidays. And all the girls got to go see their families and then Wendy was just at the door by herself. I'll go home, back to our house. And watching Wendy stay behind in our dorm really hurt my- Everyone was just a ball of tears. It, oh my god. It was so emotional. I never wanted it to be over. You know the way you look at someone when you love them, like, like this, like... That was me the whole concert. <laughs> so I took the train home and I got home around midnight or so. Hey guys, so I am back from the concert. Finally, I am exhausted. All I've eaten today is a banana loaf from Starbucks. And like eight Doritos. So I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm ready to crawl into my bed, take this damn wig off. Oh my god. But before I do, I just want to say, I can't believe this happened. I can barely hear. It's hard to talk. I just, I don't even, I can't believe this happened. I'm still like, this didn't happen. It's not, it wasn't real. That wasn't real. It was a dream. <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> when I went to bed, I was still in complete shock. Like I still, I, I couldn't believe that this had actually happened. I was like, that's, that's not real. This didn't happen. It was a dream. It was a dream, right? So I went to sleep. I woke up the next morning and it was still real. And I just bawled my eyes out. <laughs> the day of the concert, the whole day of the concert, up till the whole concert, up to the end of the concert, up to when I got home, I was in a complete shock. And then I woke up the next morning and I was just like, <sighs> Sometimes I still have flashbacks of the concert and I was like, wow, that actually happened. <laughs> wow. I will never forget this and I will never forget that you guys are the ones who brought me here. Oh man. I don't know why I'm crying. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so freaking much. I know it doesn't seem like a lot. But every time you watch a video, you change my life. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so freaking much, guys. Thank you. You are the ones who allowed me to go to this concert. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Oh, man. Oh. I'll see you guys in the next one.